What up guys, welcome to my channel, my name's Adrian, and today we're going to be talking about the Parks Canada Discovery Passes. So if you don't know what that is, the Discovery Pass gets you free admission into the National Parks, National Marine Conservations, and National Historical Sites here in Canada. This pass does not cover camping at the National Parks, this pass is only valid for day use, so that is coming in uh, during the day and leaving that same day. So if you're like me and you're from Ontario, there are five national parks that you can go to without leaving the province. Number one, Bruce Peninsula National Park. Located in Tobermory, it's most well known for the Grotto, which is a series of cliffs and caves located along the water's edge. This past summer, me and my girlfriend went and checked it out for ourselves. Jess, what do you think? 10 out of 10, would recommend. <laughs> Number two, Georgian Bay Islands National Park is located west of Muskoka along the Georgian Bay. This park is most known for its trails for biking and hiking as well as the water for kayaking. Number three, Point Pelee National Park. Located between Chatham and Windsor, this park is most known for its pointed beach. At this beach, if you look around and take a wide enough picture, it looks like you're in the middle of the water. Number four, Thousand Islands National Park, located northeast of Kingston. This is a series of small parks that are located along the St. Lawrence River that show off to the tremendous wildlife that Ontario has to offer. Number five, Pukaskwa National Park, located in Heron Bay and is on Lake Superior. It is most known for its bays and coves, and this is very similar to Tobermory, except for its, its coastline is not straight cliffs. It's more like a rounded off uh, into the water, large rock forms. Some tips that I have uh, when traveling using these passes is get there in the morning and get there early. With everyone being able to get into the parks for free for day use, the parks will be busier and there is a limited amount of parking spots available. So if you get to the park and the parking spots are full, they will not let you in and you will have to either circle around and constantly check if someone has left or come back at a later time, but there's no guarantee you will actually get in. My final pieces of advice is go during the early seasons, April, May, and June. There's going to be an increase in traffic this summer, so those will be your least busy times. With this increase in volume of traffic, there's going to be some wear and tear on the islands. So for the least amount of wear and tear, please pick up after yourselves and follow the rules that have been put in place. If you like this video, please click like. It helps more than you think. Comment down below what park you want me to go to next, and I'll see you next Sunday. I